This is day 20, episode 15 of my modular journey. And today we're going to talk about filters. Something that I realized I was missing, probably probably about uh, day 10 or so into my experiments, uh, when I realized that you know some of these some of these modules have uh, built-in filtering of sorts, you know different wave shapes or filters, uh, different ways of twer- twerking their sounds. So um, it wasn't super. I guess it wasn't something that was uh, completely missing, but at the same time, I knew that I needed uh, those three components that I was missing, and that is VCAs, VCFs, and envelopes. Uh, but today we're talking about the Bastille Cinnamon. So another another tiny little guy. It's got your standard affair, the things I'm used to, cut off and resonance. Uh, it also adds an FM option here, which I haven't played a whole lot with yet because I've been completely lost in how amazing this little filter sounds. Uh, when you get it in the mix, it just sounds fantastic. It's got three uh, out, outputs for a high pass, low pass, and band pass, which is pretty amazing. Um, it's all mono out of course, so I thought that was going to be a problem at first until I realized I could actually buy two. So uh, how these will be used in the studio is pretty much exactly like you, like anything else with the filters. Uh, I'm going to basically take uh, audio out into a filter. For this case, it'll be one of the chainsaws uh, will go into each in, so there'll be a left and a right in, and then a, and, and then a low pass out uh, to the stereo mix. So to, that way I can preserve my stereoness, uh, or I could just use uh, mono, just use left mono normaled uh, out of each chainsaw into each one of these, which will actually be today's demo because I want to show uh, how I how I use the filter uh, to actually get those those low thundering bass sounds that I want for some of my uh, some of my patches. All right, we've got both cinnamons mounted here, ready to go. Um, what I'll do first, I guess for the first uh, first demonstration, is I'm going to jump the um, first chainsaw over to the to its filter. Let me get a smaller cable. So out left to the in of the filter, and then out of the filter to the mixer. I'll go I'll go low pass. All right, so let's uh, let's turn up the input. Turn off the cutoff. Oops, let me get rid of the, uh, let me normal this real quick. So this is now the uh, chainsaw in mono mode all the way to the mixer, turning up the cutoff. Uh, it's also, it's got this, uh, this drive switch here because uh, Everything seems to be pretty quiet as it starts building through the signal path. So this drive option gives you like a little little preamp. So there's something we're all familiar with, right? Filter sweeps. Who doesn't love a good filter sweep? So, in order to get this thing to sound a little bass-ish, let me grab. Oh, let's grab one of these, one of these guys from Marbles. Start the clock. So now, basically, I just need to tune in a, a bass sound. So that sounds kind of like a bass, right? And not a bass guitar, by the way. I'm talking about, uh, you know, this like the sub harmonics and whatever. So then, of course, what is my favorite thing to do is uh, bring in an LFO. So if I take an LFO to the uh, to the volt per octave of the of the uh, filter. It's now going to mess with the cutoff for me. So 
that could be pretty cool, right? So with that in mind, let's uh, let me patch up my uh, my CV like I had before. I'm going to now take out of the filter that low pass into my uh, my CV. Let me turn on the clock. Oh, the clock is running. So now I've got uh, triggers turning on and off the bass. Sorry about that. <laughs> so with that a little bit more under control, now I can come in here and let me build uh, the sound for uh, for the second chainsaw. I'm gonna put that guy back in here. I'm only gonna use two of this of the voices of the second chainsaw. Then I want to jump its left output to its filter. So it's the same, it's basically the same signal path. And then I'm gonna come out of that filter over here to CV. And then I wanna take the uh, second out. So there we go. Uh, and again, we'll normal it. So now I should have some kind of noise. Let's, ra let's raise this up first. See what happens. Basically, this is showing what the filters are doing. <laughs> A little question and answer going on here. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, so that's it for the Bastille Cinnamons. This is episode 15. Um, stay tuned next for the, uh, for the Clavis Quadigy, a quad envelope generator. Stay tuned for that.